cymbals are an essential part of a drummer's instrument. Without them, a vital component of the percussionist's expression would be missing. There are many, many different cymbal brands on the market, and all of them are exceptional in their own way. However, none stand out more than the Avitas Zildjian Company. Drummers like Buddy Rich, Ringo Starr, and Dave Grohl have sworn by Zildjian cymbals. But what is it about them that draws so many people to call them the best? There is no denying that Zildjian makes excellent instruments, but I believe it is the family-owned company's rich history that makes its customers love it so much. The company was founded in 1623 in Constantinople, Turkey, by the Armenian alchemist Avidus Zildjian. Sultan Osman II, also known as Osman the Young, gave Avidus the name Zildjian, meaning symbol maker in Armenian. Avidus created an alloy of tin, copper, and silver quoted as being able to make musical sounds without shattering. He went on to make symbols for the Ottoman military bands until his death. The exact date is unknown. Following the death of Avitas, the secret alloy that he had invented for his symbols was passed down through the bloodline from father to son. After the death of Avitas II in 1865, he passed the reins over the company over to his brother, Karope II, seeing as Avitas' sons were too young. Karope then went on to introduce a new line of symbols, the K Zildjians. Karope died in 1909 in Constantinople, and the company was returned to Avitas' side of the family with his youngest son, Aram. Alongside being the head of the Zildjian Symbol Company, Aram was also involved with the Armenian Nationalist Movement. This was a resistance group against the atrocities of the Sultan, Abdul Hamid II, otherwise known as the Bloody Sultan. Hamid earned this nickname due to his massacring of over 300,000 Armenians over the course of his rule. Following a failed assassination attempt on Hamid in 1905, Aram fled to Bucharest, the capital of Romania, where he started a small metalworking shop. In 1909, Aram's nephew, Avidus III, moved to Boston, Massachusetts. Avidus began his new life in America as a candy maker, but was informed by his uncle that he needed to become the head of the symbol making business. In 1927, Avidus and Aram met in Boston and founded the Avidus Zildjian Company in the United States. Zildjian sought out noted drummers like Gene Krupa and Buddy Rich to find out what sound would best suit their needs, however struggled to find commercial success. That is, until the world saw the Beatles for the first time on the Ed Sullivan Show, where drummer Ringo Starr was seen playing Zildjian cymbals. <laughs> In 1977, Avidus III passed the company on to his son, Armand Zildjian, to the dismay of his older brother, Robert Zildjian. The company continued to grow in popularity and size until 1981, when a dispute between the two brothers caused Robert to leave the company and form Sabian Symbols in the Canadian factory. Sabian and Zildjian Symbols are the top two symbol competitors to this day. Armand died in 2002 at 81. He didn't pass the company down to his two daughters, Craigie and Debbie Zildjian, the 14th generation of Zildjians to run the company. The two ladies run the company to this day and the company's headquarters in Norwell, Massachusetts. Since then, the company has acquired the Vic Firth Drumstick Company and the Mike Balter Mallet Company. Zildjian symbols have earned the respect and praise that they have gotten from musicians throughout centuries of innovation and invention in the world of percussion. Zildjian has remained family owned for over 400 years and in doing so has created one of the most interesting stories in the world of music. On Zildjian, I've been Bradley Miller.